<coughs> Can you see me? It's not the best frame out, actually. Is it not? If I slouch down? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Let's do a quick vocal warm up. <coughs> me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Can you see that? Yep. Can you? Yep. Does the lamp look weird? Does it come out of the top of my head? No, it's fine. Is it? I find this one helps when you go. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Right, ask me. I've genuinely forgot it. How have you found working on sober? Uh, well, of course we take it very seriously. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we do have a lot of fun. Dean. Huh? Why are we doing this? Shh, shh, shh. And we treat each other with the utmost of respect. Jess had two when I was in my pump. Hey, you still are in your pump, are you? Right, you just... What? Oh, jeez! Fucking done it again, aren't you? Ah, damn it! I don't work with you, I don't Please. want to wear a twat. Please! Please. Fucking... Um, hello. Uh, website. Um, my name is Dean Smith. Tom Gibbons. This is Tom Gibbons. Um, we've been tasked to, uh, do some, uh, video blogs, vlogs, uh, and the such for the behind the scenes, um, uh, the making of sober um but we didn't actually shoot any behind the scenes stuff when we were making it did we? yeah which was probably an oversight i think so um for the next one sober two sober two lost we'll have so on. much <laughs> behind the scenes <laughs> we'll hire a person specifically to do that um but you want to just tell us how it came about sober and where that idea came from i don't mean for the tech, for the scripts but just more like how we got involved with it uh, I mean, it's maybe worth saying a bit about how we met Matt in the first place. Yep, right there. Um, so me and Dean went, met when we were 15 at the ITV television workshop in Leeds. Um, and Matt came along to audition the group for an online series called Dylan Ogden. Mm -hmm. uh, we were both very lucky to get parts in that yep. as the two leads. Well, there was one lead because the show's called Dylan Ogden. Yeah, the show's called Dylan Ogden. And so, and so I, I guess the yeah. guy who played Dylan Ogden would be the lead, I would say. But, you know, Quinny was the... the centrepiece. <laughs> the eye candy. Yeah. Of Quinny. Worth um, a watch. Yeah, worth a wipe. It's on YouTube. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Website. Yeah. Um, uh, and then uh, we, we vowed to work together again quickly and that uh, never happened until last year really so 2022 really wasn't it yeah through matt coming to see a play that me and dean did um i m m assume he was inspired by our performances <laughs> uh well, in fact we saw him yesterday and he said that the chemistry was nice and it would it would lead nicely into yeah not having to manufacture that by casting two people. So, so I mean, the, the script of Sober has been has been kicking around for a long time yeah. in different different variations of the mm -hmm. of the scripts. That's, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, I think Matt's probably written a blog about it, but yeah, he wrote it in '98 or '97 or something. And I think at one point Robbie Williams was attached to play my part. Really? Yeah. Oh. Or a, a variation of my part. That would have been a better better film really would it yeah <laughs> he's a fucking pop singer no um, um, but then yeah cut to 2021 you can see the show 2022 we started working properly on the scripts changing it from the 1998 version to the version that you see on your screens very soon um, and uh, and and yeah we had we had probably about six months pre-production was it was that on yeah Maybe even longer. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose uh, uh, Matt did a lot of the heavy lifting in that period. Yeah. I suppose in terms of the script and um, locations, and you were 
also very good with all I've contributed very little to this film in all honesty you other than that. turning up when I was told you contribute to that there. fucking face though yeah look at that sweet there is <laughs> um, but uh, but yes so if we if we take the story up to before we started shooting then we've got other things to talk about if we ever do another one of these um, so, so yeah we, we so Matt wrote, would write a version we would write our notes yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then send them back and forward yep. and that happened for a good while that was about four dr different drafts yeah it was a few different drafts yeah. we met up at that bird sanctuary do you remember <laughs> for the initial script meeting Oh yeah, yeah, in his van. Nice gaff that. Can't remember where it was. I can't remember where it was either. Winnie Wakefield or something. Big, was it? big old, big old lake. It had a crane or something, didn't it? Like a mining thing. Yeah. We'll put. We'll, I'll tell you what the thing was. Um, I'll put a little piece of information there, um, and then, um, and then, yeah, everything was everything was booked. We did some rehearsals with with him and with, and we spent a lot of time rehearsing it here. Yeah, which I think was important. Yeah, I think we had to because we had we had a very small amount of time to actually film it, just just for f financial yeah. reasons, I guess, and people's yeah, people's time, and nobody nobody's been paid for this film. No. <laughs> so. um, yeah, we, we shot it in nine days. We'll talk about that a bit a bit more in depth at another time. But yeah. I think it's to make sure that we were able to because we, me and Tom, have basically got every other line in the, sh in, the in the film. Um, we. I mean, you have I, you have a lot more than, than I. You you are in every like basically every single film. But you which got, is, so there's more pressure on. Mm -mm, but you've got a lot of. If you've seen the film, you'll know that, there's a, that it rests on Tom emotionally. I would say. So I think that the but what I was gonna say before you, f fucking was that the rehearsals that we did just meant that we could go into the shoot feeling a little bit more. Pr prepared than maybe you would do uh, if you were just flying into like a job that you'd booked I don't know because we'd spend so much time together you would normally do your prep in your hotel or your trailer or whatever mm. and then turn up and figure it out on the day but we did a lot of our figuring out before we even got to that point yeah but yeah but it was still still uh, intense yeah of course <laughs> so it was. Yeah, stressful at times. Because we, but just because we'd run lines doesn't mean because like we we didn't ever like figure out what shots would be or blocking or anything really, did we? we yeah, just... and I suppose there's so many variables on the day as well. Things change and yeah, weather and different things affect hmm. affect each scene. Dean not being able to act and you have to reshoot, reshoot. Yeah, it's hard. In the end, my a lot of my scenes were shot just by dying at the top of a mop brunette yeah it's, there's some AI not not Dean it's not Dean in every scene no, some yeah. of it is AI yeah because we just couldn't get the performance couldn't get the performance and I'm quite difficult I would say mm. to have around and so <laughs> just have, just having a, a computer generated just a lot of zeros and ones it was nicer it was nicer yeah um, 